Hello everybody and welcome to yet another Android Gaming News. The show that brings you the latest and greatest news stories related to Android gaming or just mobile gaming in general. This is a short video filled with recycled gameplay. I've been a little busy outside of YouTube, but I wanted to at least talk to you folks about some very important news. So grab your monocle because it makes you look sophisticated and let's get right into it. First up, Fortnite jumps out of the party bus, picks a location on the map, and doesn't land on the Google Play Store. By now you've all heard the news, Epic Games has decided to release Fortnite Android without Google Play services. Instead you will have to manually go to Epic's site and sideload the app. Kind of like how I get my games early. Shout out to APK Pure. The reason Epic has gone this route is to avoid paying Google the 30% commission that comes with using the service. Or as Todd Sweeney puts it, to support an open platform. Sure, guy. When you buy an in-app purchase for your favorite free-to-play game, Google gets 30% and the developer gets the rest. Since Fortnite seems to be the most highly profitable free-to-game out there, Epic is taking a stance here and saying goodbye to Google. Now I want to stress that Apple takes the same cut, and Fortnite is on the App Store. Yet Android is an open source platform and has the ability to sideload apps, something I think Google may start to regret. If more companies see this as a viable option, we may see less games on Google Play. However, However, this is not a total win for Fortnite, nor the consumers. For one, Google Play has security systems for apps, as well as refunds, in case your pesky kid buys a bunch of loot boxes. Fortnite on Android will go without these features. Also this leaves room for potential scammers and virus threats. A person can easily download the wrong file, one purposely made to look like Fortnite. Another troubling outcome is the average Joe, or Jane, may not even know how to get the Android version, or be reluctant due to the lack of APK knowledge. This can damage and lessen the amount of downloads. I may be wrong here. I mean, Fortnite is a force to be reckoned with, and if any company can achieve success this route, Epic Games is one of them. Next up, Fortnite and Samsung Collusion. Reports are flowing in that Fortnite for Android will be a timed Samsung exclusive. Yep, you heard me right. Apparently it will be exclusive to the Galaxy Note 9 for 30 days and other Galaxy devices for a period of 60 to 90 days. Now these are rumored reports, but if true, what the heck are they thinking? First they don't use Google Play, now they ponder on making the game exclusive to certain devices. I get that Samsung is one of the top Android makers, but a lot of us choose Android over Apple because of the many phone options. Some of us like LG, others like HTC. I personally go with the Razer phone. Not only is this a slap in the face to the Android community, I feel it would damage consumer thoughts and divide the download, especially combined with the way you have to install the game. While Fortnite seems to get everything right, I feel this latest news is a step in the wrong direction. Things are starting to smell greedy on Epic's part, and I worry more developers will start to try this tactic. Let's hope the rumors are untrue. Okay, it seems the only news I decided to talk about was Fortnite. Apologies to those who despise this game, but this video brought up some interesting thoughts for us to discuss. How do you folks feel about all this news? Are Fortnite's decisions good, or do they have unforeseen consequences? By taking Fortnite out of the equation and inputting your favorite mobile game, do you feel these are worthy tactics. Leave a comment below and let's discuss the future of mobile gaming. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more news, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I'll still review Fortnite for Android even if I don't get it until next year.